additions mutation in case of additions mutation there is usually addition of one or more nucleotides this type of the mutations they are usually severe in nature these type of the mutations they are also called as frame shift mutations in this diagram we can see that how a nucleotide is added into the sequence of the dna if we do the comparison this is the normal dna sequence in normal dna sequence if we do a comparison there is a a t g t and then there is addition of a nucleotide a if we do a comparison that this g is actually this one so between t and g a new nucleotide has been added that is adenine so when there is addition of a nucleotide that can be in the form of a single nucleotide or it can be in the form of a multiple nucleotide such a mutation they are called as addition mutations this is a second example of the addition mutation in this diagram we can see that these this is the normal sequence of the dna that is in the form of codons codon 1 codon 2 codon 3 these codons they encode for the amino acids glutamine proline and threonine so when there is addition of a single nucleotide that is in the form of t here if we do the comparison that this t is actually added between this g and c so at this point this t has been added which is called as addition mutation so what will happen once the additional nucleotide has been added the sequence of the amino acid will be changed due to the addition of this nucleotide so if we see that originally the nucleotide were producing this amino acid sequence but due to the addition of thymine or t the sequence of the amino acid has been changed this is the example of addition of one nucleotide but if we see in the second example that there is addition of three nucleotides three nucleotides have been added in the normal sequence of the dna as a result of the addition of three nucleotides the sequence of the amino acid will become that is different even from the except two so the original sequence was this one if there is addition of one nucleotide this sequence was changed into this amino acid and if there is addition of more than one nucleotides that is in the form of three the amino acid sequence has been changed into this so addition of the nucleotides usually severe in nature as the amino acid sequence of the protein changes this is the second example of the additions mutation if we see that in case of normal sequence of the gene which was this one this is the normal sequence of the gene but if we see that a new nucleotide has been added between this t and c that we can see here so between t and c a new nucleotide has been added so as a result of this new nucleotide the original sequence of the protein was proline glutamic acid glutamic acid cysteine glycine now it has become proline arginine glycine valine and arginine so there was addition of just a single nucleotide due to the addition of that single nucleotide the entire amino acid sequence has been changed so addition mutations are those mutations in which there is addition of a single nucleotide in the normal sequence of the dna and it can be more than one nucleotides usually they are also called as frame shift mutations in which the frame of the dna changes as well as the protein or the amino acid sequence produced that is also changes